Hello everyone and welcome back to my videos. I'm um, just going to do a quick review of some cars that I got. Uh, I got these from the Dollar General not too long ago. And I saw this guy and it's got the special features. Wings fold out. Pretty neat. This guy's called the Eruption. And next we've got this dirt bike I've been looking for. Actually my wife got this for me. She found it. HW450F. So that's pretty cool. Part of the Baja Blazers. 8 of 10 out of this series. And next we've got, oh, this beautiful M2 BMW. Yeah, it looks really good. Did a good job on that one. It's from their Factory Fresh series. Okay. And I bought a Matchbox, I bought a 2002. And the detailing on this is really nice. Sorry about the paint. That's paint. I got, speaking of that, I got some custom stuff coming up in some future videos here. I've been doing a lot of painting and working on some new cars, uh, some customizing. So that's in some future videos very soon, actually. I got to get those done. And this beautiful WRX. Yeah, 98 Impreza. Yeah, this is part of a main line. This says new for 2020. It's part of the turbos, Hot Wheels Turbo. All right, next we have this Fast Master. This thing is pretty awesome. Check out the transparent roof. Translucent, I should say. Yeah, it's a really neat fire department. It's a really cool car. Part of the Rescue series. It says best for track. So that's probably a quick one. This is a beautiful, another Escort. Different variation. I think I got a couple of the white ones. I don't think I have this black version here. Yeah, they did a good job on this one, too. Awesome job with the lights. Okay. And I grabbed another 944. I've got a ton of these. And I saw this Volkswagen Golf MK1 by Matchbox. I thought this thing was pretty cool. I like the detailing on it. I like that it had the rabbit on the side. So I guess really it's a Volkswagen Rabbit. <clears throat> but it says it's a Golf. I guess it's one of the same. So, yeah, it's a really neat car that there and let me see my wife bought me another one of these she um the sp2s she wasn't sure if i had one I said, yeah i got a few of these so that's an openable one where i can customize another panamera yeah she found this too this bat plane i was pretty psyched that she found this you know it comes with that pedestal and everything on there it's really neat really interesting New for 2020. It's part of the Batman animated series. And okay, got another uh, Volkswagen Golf. This one's a Hot Wheels, of course. And I think there's a couple of variations of this guy. Oh, and she found one of these, which I thought was awesome. The RV there yet. It's part of their tuned. Yeah, I thought this was really cool. It's really innovative design. Really like how they did this. So yeah. Front and center. Alright, we got another Audi Qua uh, Quattro. And I think I got a white version of this. I got a couple of these actually. A couple white ones, a couple red ones. And I love this this chrome series or yeah, the super chromes that they're doing. And I, I think they're really neat how they do how they do this. Um, you know, I don't understand this design, but it's not for me to understand. I just think it's really cool. I think they did a good job hovering out. Guess what I found? Actually, the wife found that for me. And this Mustang convertible. This casting's been around a long time. 1983. And it never gets old, in my opinion. So there we go. That's part of their screen time. So I wonder what this would be. Oh, Thunderball of, uh... From 007, Thunderball, James Bond series. And another Panamera. That goes off this side. And check it out. She found this as well. This BMW K1300R motorcycle. I like how they're doing the motorcycles again. I mean, I know they've done them for a while, but it seems like they have a little more variety now. So it's pretty cool. Part of the factory fresh. And they don't want to stand up, but I do want to put 
this guy in the front for a nice background because I think that's a really cool car. Oh, a Copo uh, Camaro SS. Yeah, it's very nice. 2018. That's part of their Dream Garage series. Yes, yeah, they got a wheelie bar on the back and a parachute. That indicates it's very fast. All right. She found this for me. I was so happy she found that for me. So, 96 Porsche Carrera. This is the last of the air cooled this body style. And some of the most expensive cars are these last era of cars. And a Miata. Eh. I'm losing my front and center. Oh, she found this. I was like, oh, this is so cool. This Volvo estate wagon. It's the 850. Yeah, I really like Volvos. So there's this guy. Tampo's a little, a little crooked. Okay, got two more. Actually, I, these were in these were in my garage. I came across them and uh, figured, well, I'll include them in this. But I've had these for a long time. Got this at this local store called Ollie's. Let's see what the back says here. Uh, 2011. So this is part of the holiday ride, I guess. Yep. So this is a really nice Datsun 240Z. I think it looks really cool. It'd be cool to customize that, but I think it looks great just the way it is. So I'll just leave it in there. And last but not least, we have this Lamborghini Gallardo. It's an LP560 four, which I think means four-wheel drive. So yeah, this looks pretty cool. Some nice tampo work on the back. It's got the same, same place. Another one of their holiday hot rods. And here's all the ones on the back here. Viper's pretty cool. Pit Cruiser's pretty cool. All right, and then there was this other thing I wanted to show you. All the way from Malaysia. It took a long time for these. I thought these stamps were pretty cool, so I took them off. And uh, I don't know. So I used to collect stamps, so I'll just keep them around. I think they're neat. But I got a set of these. <clears throat> it's actually, it says Fit, Fix It, Care. And he wrote something in there. But these are, got these off of eBay, 25 of them. Let me cut this open so we could see them better. And here we are. Aren't they, aren't they glorious? I think they're really awesome. I'm just messing with the glorious. But uh, yeah, very cool detail. You got some Falcon tires on there. Yes, they put fix it carefully. Which I mean, I think he th that he's saying to you know be gentle when you put these together because they they can break, you know. So. But yeah, I'm really stoked about getting these. You know, I like to get some gold ones actually, or bronze looking ones. So yeah, these are pretty inexpensive for what they are. It's got some good detail and it's uh, rubber tires. I think these were uh, 25 bucks with free shipping, but it did take a long time, like a month to come in. So yeah, um, I just want to show a quick preview I've got of things to come here. I've got this, this is from the Super Chromes, this Firebird. Um, that is gonna be coming out pretty soon that I'm working on. I'm just letting this paint cure. And we got this Mazda RX-7. Both of these had spoilers on the back. And I took them off. Just because when I'm customizing, I wanna make it uh, my own, I guess you'd say. You know, customizing means making it sort of opposite of what it was. So I went ahead and took the spoiler off of there. Make it a little more realistic. Uh, I think what I'm going to be doing is making this uh, roof black. And the RX-7, I've got some really cool things in store for it. I've got to polish this um, paintwork. This one came out okay. This casting was really rough. If you look on the roof there, you can see some. Of the, I had to uh, put a lot of filler in on this car. Yeah, this casting wasn't too bad. But I always go around and clean up all the casting marks. Uh, from where the dies were released. And I also would like to thank a couple new subscribers I've got. Um, Crazy Ed's Garage, thank you. I really appreciate you subscribing to me. CNA430, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And uh, LB West, just wanted to thank you guys for subscribing and sort of putting some trust into my videos. And I guess they're entertaining to you guys. So 
Thank you so much. The kids aren't with me today. I just want to make this quick video and get these packaged up and get them out of the way. So I always leave stuff out uh, in the open until I get to it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And I'm thinking on making my content not clicking the thing for uh, kids only because nobody can comment and nobody can click notifications when uh, my videos are up. So uh, I'd really like be interested to see what people have to say. So I, I want to keep it still kid friendly, of course, but I think I'm going to maybe not click the kid content part so, um, so that people can comment. So again, thank you. And I will be showing another video of some uh, customs coming up. So please come back and watch for that. Thanks again and have a great day. God bless.